Good morning, Greater Purdy Grove. This time last Sunday, we had no idea that we would be in a national quarantine. But here we are, and it's all for a reason. I want to first of all say that there is nothing that is out of control, but that everything is under control. God is still God. He's no less in his power. He's no less in his abilities. He's still all powerful. He's still all knowing. And so we as a church family, we rest in that knowledge that we have of God. A couple of announcements I want to share with you, a couple of thoughts I want to share with you as we go through this process. Number one, I want you to know that we will still be having the word of God. The word of God will still be going forth via social media. You'll be able to download Bible study. You'll be able to download the worship service. So I want to encourage you to make sure that you uh, take advantage of those things. Number two, the addition to the house of God has not stopped, but has accelerated. And I want you to know that God's work is going forth. The third thing I want you to know is that preparations are being made to the Watkins Drive campus uh, for us to be able to occupy that when this coronavirus uh, ends. Uh, we're making preparations, cleaning is being done, and we're gonna utilize some of that space over there as we go through this building process. The third thing, the fourth thing I want you to do is to take advantage of the church website as you secure information concerning the church. You want to keep in contact with what's going on at Greater Pillar Grove via the website. The fifth thing is don't forget to support the church through online giving. That's one of the realities. The church must go on. And we're going to ask that you would just continue to support this church financially through online giving um, as this goes on. The sixth thing I want to say to you is don't forget to check on each other. As we go through this crisis, as we go through this pandemic time, uh, don't forget to check on each other. Not only your family members, but check on your church members and make sure that we're okay uh, we know that supplies are limited in the grocery store, so if there are things that you see that you know someone else is in need of, call them and let them know, or even pick them up for them. Uh, we truly are brothers and sisters in the Lord. As I get into the message, I want to share some things with you, um, and that is God has laid on my heart that we have the right perspective as we go through this. So I want to talk about this morning perspective. Perspective is defined as a way of considering something. And so it's not only that we go through this, but I want to make sure that Greater Pearl Grove goes through it with the right frame of mind and with the right understanding of what actually is happening. Perspective number one, that is that God is our strength. The writer wrote, the Lord is our strength and our salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? David wrote that in Psalms 21, 27 and 1. And so as we go through this, I want us to realize that the government is not our strength. God is our strength. The grocery store is not our strength. God is our strength. Washington, D.C. and President Trump is not our strength. God is our strength. There's another scripture that says God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. The writer goes on to say in verse 2, Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the sea, Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake, shake with the swelling thereof, 
Selah. In other words, he says, think about it. Meditate on it. Psalms 46, 1 through 3. I want us to know that God is our strength. And God does not want us to be afraid. But he wants us to go through this with a spirit of dependency on him. Perspective number two. The coronavirus is, and I say is, a direct result of mankind rebelling against the laws of God. That's what we're really dealing with. And I want Greater Pearl Grove to have the right perspectives for sometimes God has been, for some time God has been talking to us. Um, he's been letting us know that he is not pleased uh, with the way things are going in the world, with the way things are going in society. And man has uh, symbolically raised his fist to God and said, we're going to do what we want to do and we're going to live our, our lives the way we want to live them. And now we find ourselves here under the chastisement of God. I want us to have the right perspective of that. My father, many times when my sisters and I would get too loud in the back room playing or whatever, he would say, all right, now y'all stop that noise. I'm coming back there. Many times we would overlook what he would say. He would say it again. But then the next thing we would know, daddy has gotten out of his seat and come back there where we, where we were to make sure that we obeyed him. God has gotten up. He's gotten out of his, he's gotten off his throne. He has stood up and let man know that he is God. He has shut everything down. Things that mankind never thought would come to an end. The NFL, the NBA, the stock market. He has shut everything down. And he has told man to go to your room and sit down and think about how you've been acting. And this really is what this is about, Pearly Grove. I really don't care what other people are saying. I really don't care, yes, the government, yes, uh, trying to find a cure for the virus, yes, all of that is important. But as we've been learning here at this church, there is a spiritual root to everything. And this is the spiritual root. God is chastising man. In the Bible, it talks about striving against God. In Isaiah 45 and 9, it says very plainly, Woe unto him that striveth with his maker. Woe unto him that striveth with his maker. Pestilence is talked about. Pestilence is a deadly disaster, usually a disease that affects an entire community. Pestilence is contagious. It is a virus in nature and it is devastating. In the Bible, Pearly Grove, pestilence is usually a sign of God's judgment on a nation or people or a group. The next thing I need us to know is the same God who protects and blesses is also the God who sends disaster and pestilence when it accomplishes his righteous purpose on earth. Isaiah 45 and 7 says, I form light and I create darkness. I make peace and I create evil. I, I the Lord, do all things. And to have a correct interpretation of that, to make sure that nobody uh, misconstrues what the scripture is saying. It is not saying that God is evil or he brings evil upon people just for the heck of it. But God is saying that he loves us so much until he would do whatever it takes to get our attention. 
if it takes taking away the light and putting us in darkness, he said, I'll do that. He says, I make peace. And then when a nation forgets me, I bring war, whatever it takes to get our attention. It is my prayer, Greater Pretty Grove, that as we go through this time, we'll go through it trusting in God. We'll go through it for those who have not made a decision to make Jesus Christ the Lord of their life. It is my prayer. It is my hope. It is my heartfelt desire that they will turn to God through his son, Jesus Christ, come back to church, and not just for the outward look of coming to church, but come back to the house of God with a contrite spirit. Come back to the house of God with a repentant heart. I want us to know, Pearly Grove, that when God brings this nation through this, when, we, when he alone sees that, um, that we've come to the fulfillment of what he has for us, I want us to know that we will have a time of rejoicing to come back to the house of God. I'm not talking about uh, the church anniversary. I'm talking about before we have the church anniversary, we, we will have a celebration to come back to the house of God. He's let me know. Don't allow them to come back uh, just by, uh, because they feel like they should be able to come back, but it should be a celebratory time when we are truly uh, happy about coming back to the house of God. So there are going to be two celebrations. There's going to be a celebration of coming back to the house of God, and then we're going to have the church anniversary, and we're going to continue to move on. But it is my prayer, Pearl Grove, that we will go through this with those two perspectives, understanding that God is our strength and also understanding that God is chastising this world. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much for your love. We thank you so much for your son, Jesus Christ. You're the same God. We love you because you first loved us. God, I pray for those who have not made you Lord of their life. I pray, dear God, for those who are going through this with a worldly view, saying that we're going to come out better and we're going to be better. I pray, dear God, that people will turn to the cross and realize that God is not pleased and he is now chastising the world. I pray for Pearly Grove Church, for those who don't know you, for those who have stopped coming to church for whatever reason to God. I pray that they will return to the house of God. Help me, dear God. Give me wisdom because I don't know what to do unless you show me. Give me the wisdom to lead your people, not in the way that I want to lead them, but in the way that you would have them to be led. Continue to bless this church, dear God. We thank you for the building pro project. As we build your house, dear God, we will teach your people the words of the Lord, that salvation comes only through Jesus Christ. It's in Christ Jesus' name we pray, amen.